Good evening, everybody. We're back. And it's New Game Monday. We haven't had in a hot minute. We did two long games back to back, which was a choice that we made. Um, this is not a long game. At least from everything I've seen. Um, this will be a, a, a pretty short one, which I'm, I'm happy about. Um, I don't really have like a preference, I guess, towards short or long games, but... After two long games back to back, something that is a little bit shorter is kind of nice. Just you know, for I like variety. I guess is what I'm saying. So, excuse me. I also just finished dinner. Sorry about that. Um, it is New Game Monday, so we'll probably have some potential technical difficulties because this is my first time streaming a new game, and that means who knows what's going to happen. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Hey, L. Let's get our Content warnings out of the way, which uh, that are hard. Boy, it's a shorter list, huh? Than our last game, just a little bit. Uh, this is a murder mystery game. <clears throat> We're playing Tangle Tower tonight, which I haven't played or watched any of. So, uh, but it looks cute, and hopefully, it will be cute. I just realized we've had at least a couple of games this year that looked cute and weren't. And this one's a murder mystery game, so there's a chance. But it's it's supposed to be cute, so fingers crossed. But like it's gonna it's gonna deal with death. Um, there there it, uh, according to according to does the dog die .com, there which has an entry for this game, which I was very happy about. Uh, there's very little in the the in the content warnings for this game, so that at least backs up that it will not be a super dark game. Um, but uh, there is the death and discussion of death because again, it's a murder mystery game in which we play detectives. There, uh, there will be at least artistic depiction of blood in a cartoony style, but still blood nevertheless. Uh, hi, Jasmine. Uh, and there will is at least one of the cases deals with bugs, um, although specifically spiders, not, but bugs, yes. So bugs, specifically beetles, uh, end up uh, being a worry for you. Then be aware that uh, the bugs are coming. The bugs are coming. So we've traded out rats for bugs. Probably not that many rats. Or uh, bugs. Hopefully not that many bugs. Boy, a plague tail was sure a thing, huh? This will be... This will be... Uh, what about roaches? Uh, I think roaches has its own separate entry, and roaches was a no. So this was... This was... Hi. Come here. Come here, you. Come here. Get on camera. Stop Stop being a brat on the mic stand. Um, so I think spiders and roaches are their own separate entry, and this one specifically called out beetles. Um... So I think we'll I think we'll see beetles. Uh is the the as much as I've had spoiled for this game is that there will be beetles. Um so enjoy that vague warning, I guess. I don't know. I don't have much to go on. Um because again, for the second game in a row, we're going into this uh sight unseen and uh and uh, we'll go on this journey together and see what awaits us. So Let's stop wasting time and uh, see what it's all about, huh? What do you think, Jasmine? You... Okay, all right. Well, you did... tell us what you really think, I guess. She's never, never been shy about her opinions. This cat. All right. Now the first question is. Okay, I was going to say the first question is, have I got the audio levels right? The second question is, am I capturing the right window? But it looks like I'm capturing that right window. All right, audio levels look pretty good here. Excellent. Perfect. All right. Here we go. That looks cute. Oh, the beginning. Okay, I love this little icon. I don't even know what this what these mean yet, but um, we'll have very small post-it notes. Uh, ghost friends, and a terrified magnifying glass, and I'm excited to meet all of them. I love how just pastel everything is already. Is this sonar? Is this telling me to... This is probably telling me to click here, yeah? Can I click on the bird? It's Ooh. a bird bath. It sure is. Is that just rainwater? It looks a little weird. The birds seem to like it. Aw. They're even singing a little tune. 
I feel like I know this voice, and I don't know where I know it from. <laughs> Please don't do that. <laughs> okay, I'm charmed already. What, what is this? It's just an archway, but it seems a little ominous. Like, walking through it might give you bad luck. Too late. How much stuff can we click on, y'all think? You ready, Sally? Oh, okay, that's just telling it. We can just, if we click anywhere here, that's going forward. Grimoire, I've been standing here for seven and a half minutes. Sally and Grimoire? Just checking. Do you have the map? Uh, yeah, but it's basically blank. Did you read the case file? What do you think? I'm not sure yet. It's really not a lot to go on. Did you read it? Yeah, I'll read it on the way to the crime scene. Okay, so that's the map. That's the case. That's the map. That's the case file. Sorry. Freya. Okay. I, 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 uh, well, if Freya shows up, we'll have to let her know that she's a person of interest. Freya Fellow died whilst painting a portrait of Flora Fellow in Flora's Tower. Flora was present as she was posing for a portrait. Well, I mean, that makes sense. Freya Fellow was found lying on her back with a single stab wound on her chest. No weapon was found at the scene, but the subject of Freya's unfinished painting is holding a knife. All right. The red color on the tip of the knife is not paint. It was discovered to be blood. I mean, yeah, but so it's you were painting someone and the subject in the scene is holding a knife and you were stabbed in the front. So far, all signs point to the subject of the painting. Flora is the, the killer. All right. Or a killer painting. It's, we don't know how mystical the setting is yet. Killer painting! Killer painting! Small painting on a scrap of paper. A few notes have been written on the back. Nowadays, it goes by Tangle Tower, but it's actually a pair of towers connected by a mansion at the base. It's surrounded by a circular lake. The water is an unusual mix of colors. Yeah, I'll give you that. Wait, is this just a two towers reference? It might just be a two towers reference. It's probably not. Lake is enclosed by a sheer. Uh, lake is enclosed by sheer pale cliffs. They're too steep and smooth to climb. Tangle Tower is currently home to both the Fellow family and the Pointer family. I love these names. It's very. Um, what am I thinking of? It's um, uh, a lemony snickets in the naming conventions. All right. So, I oh okay. So we can use this to examine the case file. Got it. Neat. Okay, smile. <laughs> Kazuntai. This is Freya. Oh, these are probably like connections to other people. Oh, got it. These are individual notes. How was Freya killed? Oh, I like this. Pick on the boat. That's the little boat we used to cross the lake. It's the only way on or off the island. What a comforting thought. Flora might be her mom or aunt or something. Yeah, let me let me take a look at this. So, so Freya's nineteen. Flora's fifty-eight. That's a that's a decent. Excuse me, this decent gap gap. So, I tied the boat up to the mooring post, so it'll stay put for now. Probably. Loving the confidence. <laughs> His face. I love how much stuff we can click on. Can we click on Sally? So, who do you think did it? <sighs> Sally, you know full well we haven't met a single suspect yet. Right, could be grandmother. We haven't even been to the crime scene. Still, I reckon I've got it all worked out. <laughs> are these a separate thing? What are they? Wind chimes. Silent wooden wind chimes. Interesting. Are these mountains? Mountains. <laughs> nope. They're too steep and too smooth to be mountains. They're more like cliffs. Whatever they are, they go all the way around the lake. Like a barrier. That's a big lake. It's kind of purple. It looks poisonous. I think it's just water. Yeah. Water with poison in it. 
Oh, I love this. It's a garden, I think. It's currently far away. Uh, we could walk closer to it. Oh, got it. Okay, so we use this to change locations. Okay. Do this. <laughs> oh, this is charming already. Egg. It's a stone carving. Wonder how it got cracked. Mm. I think it's supposed to look like that. It's an egg. Fair point. What animal is that? Griffin? Hawk. Bear. Lizard. Right. Of course. A hawk bear lizard. <laughs> right. That makes sense. That way you don't accidentally move when you're combing an area for clues. Good point. Yeah, it's a good interface design. It's a bandstand. It's small for a bandstand. It's a one-man bandstand. Yeah. <laughs> Mushroom. This is some garden. Do the plants all look a little strange to you? Feet. The pond has little stone feet. Uh, seems a bit superfluous. You are superfluous. <laughs> Ripples. And it's full of the same weird water that was in the lake. Any fish in there? Not a single one. Although there is something in there. It's a cassette tape. Huh. Or it used to be. <laughs> okay. Finding clues already. Does that mean each ripple is a thing? It's full of the same weird water. Any fish in there? Not a single... Although there is... It's a cassette tape. Or it used to be. Now, is that a different cassette tape, you think? Or is that... No, same cassette tape. Alright, alright, cool. It's a statue of some hideous, scaly, bipedal fish monster. Playing a harp. Playing a harp. Hang on a second. Let's look closer. Ooh. It isn't just a regular statue, is it? We got puzzles. We got puzzles, everybody. Something tells me we're not going to solve this just yet. One moment. One moment. Hold, please. Just realized. Okay. So we don't have... Let's come back later. But now... It must do something. Right, I'm not going to try and brute force our very first play. We still haven't gotten to the crime scene. This is just me. This is just me new boot goofing. So we're, we're just going to... Sorry. I'm mumbling because I'm trying to get my, my backup set up. Because I I said right at the start... That, wouldn't you? ...that we've... Oh, nice. We saved that. Cool. So it, it'll... If we see symbols like this... I was just about to take a picture of that to keep but it did it for me i love this game um so i'm setting up our, our backup so that if we have technical issues i can at least keep up with chat what do you think it's for i think it's to scare away detectives <laughs> is it working no mm -hmm. <laughs> okay i like grimoire it's quiet mm -hmm. you're supposed to say too quiet <laughs> it's not it's an appropriate amount of quiet I, uh, not wrong okay Oh, we're basically an O, huh? Oh, hell. No, we're not. Found it. What? No. Oh, no, no, no. I found the O. Oh, there's an O on the floor. Oh, yeah. Tangle tour. <laughs> Can we take the O? Oh, what? Oh, tangle tour. Oh, what? Oh, okay. Tangle tour. Fair. Uh, this it looks like someone tried to chop it down, but then gave up. Can you blame them? Fair. Ooh, hello. Yeah, there's a heart engraved in the tree. I didn't know people actually did that. PPFF. So I've I've discovered already a slight problem that I'm going to have with this game. And by problem, I mean a wonderful wonderful thing about this game. Um, it was it was a bonus stream way back in the day. But uh, anybody who caught our our two part. Um, please don't cut touch anything stream, which is a phenomenal game that I recommend to almost anybody. I say almost. Um, it's, it's a great game, uh, in my opinion. It's a game about touching everything and, and just seeing what happens. And so far this game is, is, is also that, is like how, 
there's an envelope just in the bushes. And, like, it's incredible how much they've rewarded just curiously clicking on everything. It's been opened, but the letter's still in there. Let's read it. Isn't that an invasion of someone's privacy? It is. Oh, definitely. Thank you. The combination is drawn on the other sheet. Once you have it memorized, destroy it. I do not agree with your reasons. You will not find it down there. Interesting. Combination is drawn on the other sheet. Okay. So we find the other letter we find, or the other sheet of paper. We find the combo to the harp thing. Do you think he'll start to move if we try to go inside? No. I think he'll just silently judge us. But that also suggests that if we could find the recipient of this letter, presumably we know who else might have used the um, the harp thingy. Also, I just realized something. Let me make a slight adjustment. Eeny, meeny, meeny. Eeny, meeny, meeny. Move chat into a slightly different position now that I know where the interface looks like. Should we ring the doorbell? Why would we not? It's a little Melody. Melody was in, like, Lavender. That was interesting. Little bird feeders. How do you know they're for birds? It's red, but I don't think it's painted. It's just red. Interesting. Why build a house here anyway? I'm sure they have their reasons. Don't think it's locked. Well, that means we can just walk straight in, right? I'm pretty sure that's the rule, yeah. A path leading towards the stone square. Mm. Oh, we could go in, but we could explore more. Go in, explore more. Go in, explore more. Let's head to the crime scene first. Okay. The West Tower, I think. Okay. But, you know, later. Ooh, these are pretty. Finally, we get to investigate a murder in a spooky mansion. <laughs> it's not that spooky, really. That's true. Don't ruin this. Nah. What is that? Genealogy. I think it's a family tree. Lord Fellow. Oh, the F threw me. Oh, okay, got it. The F is just for the bottom row, so it's not Floored Fellow, it's... Lord Fellow and Lady Fellow. Looks like he was married twice. Scandal. Meh. Okay. Lord Fellow and Selina Stonetop had Felicia Fellow, who had Freya. Here's Fitz. Where can we... Where is... Where is... Where is... Fellow. Is this Flora? Do these people not have first names? So this might be Flora? Hey, Mox. <laughs> Graphic design is their passion. Yeah, so the only... The only femme fellow for whom we don't have... Oh, no, here's Flora. No, that's Flora Remington. Unless... This Flora has changed their name. I'm guessing this is Flora. Lady Fellow. In which case, Freya Fellow is Lord Fellow's uh, grandchild from his second marriage. Imagine how he's touched the sky. <laughs> which might explain... It might be a motive for why Flora would be stabbing Freya. If this is her... I don't even know what you would call that, but like... Her her ex's granddaughter. Oh, oh, you're right. Flora... Flora and Felix. And then had Fiona. So this would have been... Oh, this just, this is so messy. This is all in the same. So they would have here, there. 
that would make sense. So yeah, so if Flora Remington took Felix's last name. Okay, so then this Flora might be her. Remington. I think she's mentioned in our case file. Got it. Okay. That would make more sense. Interesting. Rhea Fellow. The murder victim. She's barely related to the main family at all. Buck Brackley. These names are fantastic. Sally, check those plants for clues. Yeah. <laughs> is soil a clue? Uh, what is this? It's a big glass tube filled with water. There are weeds in there. In sand. It's an aquarium? Could be. Except there's nothing living in it. Anymore. Hmm. Interesting. A big letter F. Heh. <laughs> of course. Who doesn't hang a giant banner of their initial in the lobby of their mansion? <laughs> oh, and that would be an interesting... So, hang on. I think it's a... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm putting it together, I'm putting it together. So, so... If the if this is Flora Fellow, I think she's then she came from the Remingtons, who belong to neither family that belongs to the Towers. And then Primrose, I guess, is one of Flora's siblings who married into the Pointer family. Interesting. So the Remington family is split between the two Towers, and then here is unmarried Richard who is a neutral party. Oh, this is an interesting little wrinkle. This is going to get messy. I'm excited. A door. Sure is. Oh, what's behind it? A room. Nice. Stairs. <laughs> Finally, we get to install this. All right. Uh, well, let's go ahead and... Right, so the Remingtons are unaccounted for in terms of living quarters, other than the ones that have married into one side of the family or the other. Okay, so that's that's the high tower here. Can we go exploring, or will will Sally stop us again? Let's head to the crime scene. It's first. at the top of the west tower. That explains that. Wee! I love the little sticker people. Oh, hello! What a scene. Egg. Let's take a look at that. All right, new rule. Whenever we enter a scene, if there's an egg, we click on the egg first. There it is. The unfinished portrait of Flora Phil. Egg. So, what? Freya was killed halfway through painting it? Looks that way. Ooh. Freya was unable to finish the painting as she died sometime during the process. That'll put a crimp in your art schedule in a hurry. Flora appears to be wielding a knife. The red substance on the tip was discovered to be blood. I wonder if all of Freya's paintings are this creepy. Nah. Maybe it's just because she never got to finish it. There's something wrong with the crime scene. And something really weird about the murder weapon. I love this animation. Find a murder weapon. Okay. Oh, okay. So now we have to make a sentence. So we have... Flora Fellow is holding a knife tipped with blood because it stabbed Freya. Flora Fellow is holding a knife tipped with blood because it stabbed Freya. Almost. Maybe just change one thing. Okay. <laughs> because Freya was going to eat it. <laughs> Where'd he go? He left. Flora's portrait is holding a knife tipped with blood because it stabbed Freya. What? Weird, huh? You think Freya was stabbed? By a painting. Hey, Hunt, I think you're right. The painting stabbed her. The painting. 
but by uh, the painting pretty itself. Pretty sure they telegraphed mm -hmm. that one. Freya was standing right up by the canvas when she was killed. There's blood on the knife. It's the murder weapon. Don't judge me. Right, but it's not actually a knife. Right, because she wouldn't have painted a bloody knife before the murder. Yep. Case How did the blood get not closed. And even if you were right, where does that leave us? A painting can't be a murder suspect. <laughs> I don't know, ask Dorian Gray. Hey, thanks for the raid. Welcome to murder. Population. Hey, Cherry. We're discovering that Freya is dead. I'm sorry. Look at this gramophone. Is that a gramophone? I think so. Except it's got a tape deck instead of a turntable. Ooh. Hey, September. It's also got a big crack down the middle. I mean, same. Plays cassette tapes instead of vinyl records. It's pointed towards the middle of the room. There's a notice. There's noticeable crack running through it all the way from the horn down through the tape deck. Interesting. And we have this thing. What about the cassette tape? Yeah, it sure is. Pink. Ooh. Oh. The cassette tape has a crack down the middle. Okay. I think it still works. So I bet going over time I got distracted by No, oh, don't even worry about it. And welcome, Annie. Oh, it's good. The gramophone? Yeah, we could give it a go. Yeah, how do I how do I combine yeah, try it. Here we go. Perfect. Uh alright. So we found we found one cassette tape in a uh, pond outside, and then this one was in it and cracked already. I'm pretty sure neither of these is going to work great. I, I don't know how these are going to... Oh, girl, ROM! Yes, that that's totally understandable. I'm going to have to check out that, uh, that look later. Don't worry about that. Okay, tape's haunted. Gotta go. Weird. It's someone humming a tune. Wait, is that the doorbell tune? That might have been the doorbell tune. We'll go play the doorbell again later. Right, I also don't think I've ever seen a, a gramophone that played tapes. I think that this might be like a kitsch item where it's it's just essentially a fancy tape player that's made to look like a gramophone. Which I could totally understand someone having. <laughs> it's a grandma phone. It plays the music your grandma listened to. <laughs> okay. Well, neat. Uh, let's let's have us a look at the brush. Supposedly, Freya was working on the painting when she was killed. Looks like she was still holding her paintbrush and palette when she fell. Didn't even get a chance to clean her brush. 
<laughs> Palette has a variety of paints loaded onto it. The largest is a blob of black in the middle. Paintbrush is still covered with dried red paint. Alright, so the last color she was using was red. Okay. The outline of Freya Fellow looks like she fell onto her back. There's a single patch of blood right in the middle. No real signs of a struggle. So, That's weird. the reports that she was stabbed in the front... What? Her feet were right up by the canvas. So? So she was probably standing really close to the canvas when she fell. Let's check the case file again. Freya's painting supplies. There's a lot of stuff up here that's been cracked. Was there... Was there some kind of, like, sonic boom that knocked a knife through the window? And then she just like her 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 brush just like smacked the canvas? I have concerns. Let me look at this again. There it is. The un So what? Freya was killed halfway through painting it. Looks that way. Yeah, I wonder if this was just a like a, a splat that just happened to land on the Kniff. All right, now let's look at the egg. It, we were denied egg earlier. An egg with bird feet. It's also covered in gemstones. What a completely ordinary object. This is a Fabergé egg. Hello? It's a container for something. It's a puzzle. Those gems look like they come off. Oh no, it's Fez. Uh, how many sides of this one? Just two? Just two? Alright. Okay, so we can switch them around. Got it. Okay. It's some kind of clue about where to put the gemstones. Interesting. You want my there? We're guessing. This is slightly guessing now, but I'm curious to see what this does, if anything. Okay, it's also based on these lines do. What those lines do, though? That's the key, I guess. Okay. This is curious. Because obviously there's no way to place it in the middle. And there's a star over there. Both yellow ones. Nope. Did you check the clue on the back of the egg? I'm pretty sure it explains where to put each of the gemstones. It does, but not in a clear way. Interesting. Unless it's specifically talking about the connections between them and the size of them. So if it's... Right, it's these two. So that should be purple triangle and yellow triangle and yellow. And then that one short end red to star. 
That's here, short end red to star. And this one is big long, so short end is purple, long is blue. And it's here, short end purple, long end blue. Uh, and then here, uh, both ends of the these gems. Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? That is. That's you. You to you. That's me, 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 Okay. Uh, and that's you, I think. Okay. Uh, and then this. The bent end is green. And the straight end is yellow. Bent end, green, straight end. Oh, no, straight end yellow. Here, got it. It's there, there. Okay, I think. It's you two. You two are covered. You two are covered. Okay, now we're just down to this thing, I think. So that's this. Uh, the chimney is red, and the other end is this one. So it's there. Chimney is red. Did you do the end of, the end of that wrong? And then. And then? And then? I got it. Aha! I'm impressed. Did it unlock? What's in there? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing, tra -la, la Well, I'm not leaving without a clue. And, <laughs> and the eggs are the clue, right? You know what? I like it. Woo! Once unlocked, the egg can be opened. It's currently empty. The lining of the egg is a soft, velvet-like material. Egg is supported by a strand made of brass. It rests on three strange feet with pointed claws. We have egg. All right, let's actually talk to somebody because we've been standing in here and poor Flora has just been waiting. But let's look at this eye first. Top of the towel, right? I think so. Why? Doesn't matter. It's nothing. Grimoire, what are you thinking? Because I'm thinking that's a big eye. Denimos huevo. We have egg. This room is a big open window. I don't know if you can call it an open window. It's more like the sudden absence of wall. They're not wrong. Book. A bunch of old books. Covered in dust now, but they look well read. Hello. Oh, I love your design. Flora. Hello? Hi. Hey, sorry to barge in. I'm sure you're still in some distress. We need to ask you a few questions, I'm afraid. Did you witness the murder, Flora? Nothing. What do we do? <laughs> Not sure. She's entitled to her silence, I suppose. For now. Is there anything you'd like to tell us, Flora? I don't really know anything about you at all. I think that's the way she likes it. We'll just have to ask other people about her. Yeah, okay. Freya was painting your portrait yesterday. Is that right? The fact that when she moves her head, it sounds like leather creaking. special about yesterday? Did you talk to Freya at all while she was painting you? She's not going to answer us, is she? Nope. But at least we can say we tried. Flora, you were definitely in the room at the time of the murder. Surely you must have seen something? Can you tell me anything about what happened to Freya? That animation is spectacular. If you ask me. I don't know. Maybe she really doesn't know anything. How is that possible? Ooh, and then super secret, whatever this is. Were you close with Freya? How are you two related? Did you kill Freya? Grimoire! What? I don't even think she's listening. Oh, she's listening. Anything we should know? Any hobbies? Besides staring out the window?
All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What can we ask about? We could ask about the empty egg. Let's ask about the portrait. Did you ask Freya to paint this, or was it her idea? What is that you're holding in the painting, Flora? Some people have been saying it's a knife. I love how that kind of works as a response. I don't imagine we're going to get much else. We could ask about egg. We could ask about the letter. That's about the, let's ask about the tower. Okay, that was quick. <laughs> uh, let, let's ask about the, the tape to Freya. Also very quick. All right. I think that's enough for now. We'll come back once we've once we've found someone else, I think. I think that's the way to go about this. Let's go back to exploring. Oh, I love this lamp! I love lamp. Look at this lamp. Puffer fish? Yes. It's also a lamp. For some reason. That's a massive conch shell. Do you think there's a little crab living inside? I hope so. <laughs> Me too. It's a magic lamp. Can we summon the genie? If we get really stuck, sure. Clock? It's a barometer. No, no, it's bar Oh, yeah. Broken. Silly. I've never seen a barometer that wasn't broken. Oh, paints. Hang on. A little hand-painted statue. How can you tell it's hand-painted? Well, the paints are right there on the desk. Also, I mean, no offense, but you can just tell. Oh, you're into painting miniatures. A wooden carving of a man holding a sword. The model has been hand-painted, but the paint is not skillfully applied. Yellow, blue, black, and white paints were found nearby. Okay. The fact that it's listing the color of the paints is curious to me. What is it? Who's this little guy? Imp. What does he do? <laughs> what? This face is fantastic. Well, if you tell too many lies, he appears at the end of your bed in the middle of the night. Oh. <laughs> nice. A real treasure chest. How do you know there's treasure in there? Why else would it be locked? Plus, oh. there's a treasure map hanging directly above it. What's the deal with that painting on the front? Not sure. We should check that treasure map, too. Okay. We got ourselves a Let's proper little right. puzzle thing. Mip. Nice. A real treasure How do you know this? Plus, there's a treasure map hanging oh, directly above. Look at the map. Nice. Oh, how do you my know? Else plus, there's a treasure map hanging. Can I not? I want to look at the map. Oh, oh, that's how I look at the map. Got it. That's they thought they thought this through so you wouldn't have to go back out. I like that. They're smart. No red paint, but the figure is clearly red. That's a good catch. All right, so dragon, palm trees, and uh, the the green rock, big mossy rock. Uh, palm trees way off in the distance. So we've got, like, it kind of looks like this, yeah? Where we got dragon here, mossy rock, way off in the distance. So I think this is the X. Because if you were standing at the X, you'd see dragon there. I'm trying to see if you reverse or go sideways. If there's another configuration like that. Is there one with... Dragon and rock a little bit. Oop, maybe this. Maybe this one, because that's way off there. And that would be dragon here. Rock a little further out. Because the, the dragon and the rock aren't quite on the same axis. So it might be this one. And then dragon's here, rock is there, and palm tree is way out there. Because this one, palm tree I feel like is a lot closer. And there's other stuff out there. So I think it may actually be this one. So let's try, so that'd be, it's what, letter, number, and then I guess we're figuring out orientation. So, oh, oh which way you're looking. Got it. Okay, so it's H6 looking west. Looking at H6 looking west. There we go. Nailed it. Perfect. What was in the box? 
more wooden models. Yay! These are a little different to the one on the desk. Oh. Oh, there's the red paint. There we go. Model resembling a child with green hair. Model resembling a woman with gray hair. Okay, so this is this is clearly Flora. This is almost certainly Freya. Model resembling a red and white bird. Chicken! Or rooster, maybe. Uh, and a model resembling a broad-shouldered man. The wood models have been hand-painted. The paint is not skillfully applied. A pot of red paint and a brush is nearby. The brush has some dried red paint on it. Okay. I'm glad we opened this box first. So that's where the red paint is from. It's a drinking horn. Is it full of ale? Or mead, maybe? Right now, it's just full of dust. Oh. <laughs> it's a globe. It's Earth. If Earth was made of paper and gave off a gentle pink light. Aww. Ooh, shelf. Shelf junk. Mirror? A little mirror. Definitely cursed. <laughs> Not cursed. Not everything is cursed. <laughs> what about this painting? A pencil drawing of a mountain on a moonlit night. Mood. <laughs> All right, let's chat with this fine person. Hello there. Can you hear me? I'm Private Detective Grimoire. I have some questions for you. Grimoire. Good mysterious name. <laughs> Felix Fellow at your... Ah, you're Felix. And uh, this is my colleague, Sally. Yeah, that's a perfectly good name as well. Thanks. If you would, Mr. Fellow, we really need to ask you about the murder. I must say, I'm rather jealous of you two. Oh, yeah? Why's that? Out here solving mysteries, <laughs> exploring new places, uncovering secret rooms, hidden treasures. That's what life is all about. Secret rooms? Uh, generally speaking, you know, that sort of thing. Secret rooms, eh? Hey? Is this art by Small Boo? I have no idea, actually. I don't, I don't know much about this game at all. Sir? Oh, oh, that's got it. The encounter is this. Can you hear me? I, we can get out of that. Neat. So, Felix, what exactly do you uh, do? Is it not obvious? I'm an explorer. Explorer slash treasure hunter. Yes, well, best in the world. We're talking like curse statues, spike pits. Uh, it's a little more sophisticated than that. But I've certainly seen my share of danger, if that's what you're asking. And, uh, if I may ask, uh, when did you retire? Uh, you listen here. You <laughs> see? I may be between the ventures right now, but it's simply not in my nature to stay in one place for too long. There's so much I sass in this game. The winds of destiny take me. Don't you live here with your wife and daughter? Yes, well, it's in... The fellow family has certain loyalties, and with the floral... Art by Catherine is... Unger. Okay. Nothing wrong with raising a family, Mr. Fellow. <clears throat> Don't misunderstand me. Fiona and Flora are my entire world. They are the greatest treasure of all. Uh-huh. Well, why on earth would you want to know about that? The murder of Freya Fellow. The reason... We're here. Ah, oh, right. Uh, nasty business. Uh, very unfortunate. Mm -hmm. I, I regret that I can't be of any help, uh, but I wish you all the best in your investigation. Uh huh. Hear that, Grimoire? We're done here. Let's go. It's a simple question, Felix. Well, I'm sure you're up to it. I just. It's. Well, there's not much to tell. Mostly, I was in my room by myself, uh, working on Flora's, uh, working uh, on a project. <laughs> Your room is quite close to Flora's tower. You didn't hear anything unusual? What qualifies as unusual? What have you got? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to clip what qualifies as unusual. What have you got? for just future use in general. This font is really bad for dyslexia. I'm glad it's voiced. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. It was dust. I have to see if it can be, if we can uh, de-stylize the font. Perhaps. 
uncertain wound as life itself. Abridged version, please. Right. Fine. I heard someone heading down the stairs, just outside my room. The footsteps were calm, orderly, so I thought nothing of it. Shortly afterward, I heard a second set of footsteps going the same way. This time I could tell just from the sound that something was wrong. So I looked out into the hallway. I got a glimpse of Poppy disappearing down the staircase to the floor below. I didn't know what to make of it, to be honest. I thought perhaps she'd had a disagreement with Fitz, as I know those two are close. So I looked into his room, just in case, but it was empty as was the garden beyond his window. Back in the hallway, I bumped into a very concerned-looking Penelope. She was heading up Fellow Tower to find Professor Pointer, so I escorted her. We went into Flora's room. Poor Freya was laying on the floor. Fiona, Poppy, Fitz, and Pointer were there already. Flora, too, of course. <laughs> Soon enough, Everyone else made their excuses and left. Including you? Not I. <laughs> I stayed. Flora needed me. Uh huh. So I appreciate also that they've made everyone's names alliterative. So all of the F's are fellows and all of the P's are pointers. Dearest Flora, a remarkable woman. Oh, yes. Been married over 20 years now. You two still get on? Yeah, of course. What a question. She hasn't gone quiet on you. It's true. She has an independent streak. She's uh, had it her whole life. She's the youngest of three. Always something of a lone wolf, you know? Just the way she is. Lone Wolf is putting it lightly. She doesn't seem to want to talk to anyone. She just likes time to herself, uh, away from the company of other humans. Other humans? Other, well, yes. Uh, other people, you know. Mm-hmm. Uncommonly skilled as an artist, but Freya was so much more than her talent. She helped me get started with my own painting, you know. It taught me what she knew about wood carving, too. Tremendous patience. She was ever so good with dear Flora. Freya and Flora were close? Oh, yes. Especially after, uh, especially recently. Uh, uh -huh. Somewhat distantly, as it happens, uh, my father, Lord Fellow, was her grandfather. Uh, technically, that makes her a fellow. Let's just say uh, there was some discussion over whether she ought to carry the name at all. Uh, there's a family tree in the Grand Hall. Uh, you should take a look at it. What about her inheritance? Freya's parents died when she was around three years old. She came to live here shortly afterwards. Nobody left her a thing? I'm afraid not. She had no formal claim over anything at Tangle Tower. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but okay, so Freya taught Felix about the, the painting of things and the carving of things. Looks like Freya's paints. Do you know why the pots are cracked down one side? No, that's very odd. They're normally in excellent condition. You seem pretty sure about that. Ah, you found it. Mm -hmm. What, uh, what do you think? <laughs> Final touches a little bit. It turned out all right, though. <laughs> What's it supposed to be? It's Flora, of course, surrounded by all her favorite people. <laughs> hmm. Let's ask about the tower. Charming, isn't it? Yes. Built by the Remington family originally. Oh, that's how the Remingtons fit in. They built the towers. Associates. But now it's owned by you? By the Fellow family? The Fellows and the Pointers have both come to claim a certain degree of ownership. And who named it Tangle Tower? 
Uh, Flora chose the name. <laughs> what does it mean? I think it was her intention that it uh, mean nothing at all. Uh huh. Of a fresh start. From what? This really isn't for me to say, but she had some kind of disagreement with her siblings. After they moved away, Flora changed the name of the house. I think perhaps she hoped it would make them feel unwelcome. Yes, less likely to come back. That's kind of extreme. <laughs> yes, it is rather, isn't it? Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Let's the portrait. It would have been a beautiful painting. It's, uh, rather a shame Freya was unable to finish it. Nothing about it seems strange to you. Well, all these uh, modern paintings are slightly strange, aren't they? The emotion of the piece taking over from, say, uh, anatomical accuracy. <laughs> what about the knife in Flora's hand? A knife? That's what you see? You don't. Well, as I was saying, Freya's artistic approach distorts certain shapes. Hard to say exactly what we're looking at. I don't know if I like Felix, but I do enjoy his... <laughs> what have you got there? A knife! Yeah. Alright, alright. Well, let's, let's, we'll, uh, we'll use most of this time for just meeting people and info gathering, I think, and then we'll... We'll, we'll come back for cross-examination in a bit. We still have some puzzles to solve. But now that we've found out that some of the pointers were apparently uh, traipsing about on this side of the house, at least according to one uh, account, that uh, the plot has thickened. This is interesting. That painting is really something. Why would you want it looming over your bed like that? Maybe Freya enjoyed the atmosphere it creates. The atmosphere of chaos and oppression? Hang on. There is a smaller version down by the floor. It's a photograph. Ooh. Oh. It's an annotated photograph. A piece of adhesive tape is stuck on it. Lines have been drawn with black ink around the edges. Okay. This means something. It's important. Very good reference. God, what was that? Close Encounters of the Third Kind? To the casual observer, maybe. They're not real paintbrushes. Oh my god. Looks like they're part of some kind of lock mechanism. Okay, okay, alright, alright, hang on. Got it? Okay, alright, hang on. Uh, hmm. Well. And then that there. Put that there. And that there. And that there. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. So then, does that mean... Okay, so we can move these, move these left and right. Okay, we can't move them up and down. Hey, beekeeper! This is very Professor Layton. It is, yeah! Okay, so then this is telling me... What is this telling me? Do we have orange at all? Oh, is orange is just the, the, the stick. Orange is the stick. Okay. Uh, I guess, is this the height of the brush, maybe? So then that means that this blue should be here, because this is, this is, well, now they're the same height. This is a pink with a fan, which would be like here. Oh no, that's three, which would be here. 
Oh, wait, hang on, where's that? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. It's hard to... Okay, so we don't have the same number of lines. Hmm. Alright. Alright, and then... Okay, so this is making me think that if we only have... If we have three here, so then this might be a nothing line. Which means that this might actually be this. That's that. I don't really know what this symbol is trying to tell me. Because it looks like a measurement, but other than that, I'm not... Although if that's there, then this would have to be blue. And that has to be green, but this has to be orange. And then that has to be that. Nothing. No. Okay. Did you find a hint on those? It graphs? looks like a ripped up jigsaw. Yeah. Okay. All right. So then. Now this has to be. So that has to be green. We got those wrong. How about that? That. Was incorrect. Each brush no. okay. has various characteristics. The information we need is on the paper. Once it's all right, so that has to be green. That has to be blue. So we've got that. That has to be orange. That has to be pink. Those are pretty easy to figure out. That has to be a slant of some kind, and three has to be a fan of some kind. So we've got those. So it's the heights, and the problem with the heights is that I can't discreetly figure out how to match four to three. <laughs> All right. All right, beekeeper suggesting one and five, so like that. There we go. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. What was in the box? Just a photograph. Well, most of a photograph. Oh, Look at his face! A lot of good faces in this art. I love it. Photograph of two young girls, one with red hair, the other with green hair. It's green. I'll take it. Uh, photo has a large piece missing. It seems to have been ripped off. Hmm. Alright. More drama. What's this? That painting. This really oh, that's really painting again. Yeah. Hang on, there is a smaller version. Uh, yada, yada yada, we've seen this. Thank you. Yeah. Roller. Painting supplies. Yeah, I see striped stockings in the ripped off bit. Oop, stuffy. Gray is there. Looks pretty depressed. He's had a rough couple of days. Mm, vent. Do you think this was always supposed to be a bedroom? I don't know. It is kind of a weird shape. No windows either. What's this? Drawings, taped up on the wall. What's that one on the left? It looks like two people standing together in a garden. One uh -huh. of them's holding a red rose. Uh -huh. Ooh. Beep, beep. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the person with the red hair that we just saw in the photo. That hair looks very similar, so I think, I think red hair is Fifi. Hackshaw. Oh, this is um Poppy. I think was their name from the little like sprite art we saw walking down the hall from Felix's description. Drawing of a man standing with a woman in a garden. He's holding a red rose. Drawing of a young woman. A drawing of a person wearing a cloak. All right, so cloak wearer is Hackshaw. All right, good to know. A pillow with a paw print pattern. It's a cushion. Yeah, but that doesn't alliterate. <laughs> uh, I like grimoire. Brushes. Pencil. They're clean, but they look pretty well used. That's weird. What did you find in the drawers? Nothing. They're completely empty. Come here, Arthur. What's this box? It's a little glass box. Get, come on, buddy. Sorry, cat time. I think it's a vivarium. Ooh. Come again. See the leaves and twigs in there? Might have been for keeping insects. 
bugs. Lamp. Not the kind of lamp I choose for my bedroom, but fair enough. Shining a red lamp at the, like, red cliff thing. That's cool. Looks like old mining equipment or something. Freya's plants. They must not need sunlight. Is this a dream catcher? Just little trinkets. Let's leave them alone. That's fair. Grab! Did Freya paint those animals on her ceiling? They're kind of simplistic. Maybe she painted them when she was younger. Fair. Oh, yeah. I wonder if, it, if we find a way to turn the red light off. I wonder if that changes the painting. Not the That's cool. Looks like old mine. We don't have an option to yet, but... Just little trinkets. Let's leave them alone. Fair. What's these? Now, a lot of these paintings look unfinished. How can you tell if they're finished or not? Good point. Fair. That's a fair point. That's that's a good point. Smudges. We're halfway up a tower. Someone's been tracking in mud from outside. Ooh. Interesting. All right. Well, we're learning all kinds of stuff. How are we doing on time? Let me make sure I don't get completely just lost in the mystery here. Wow, we're almost at time. <gasps> Fifi! Oh, I don't want to disturb you, but I also don't want to poke around your... This is the... This is the whole ass library in chem lab. I... L is this your room or is this the library or both? It's a snow globe. Okay, let's talk to you first. I don't want to be rude. Hi. Curious. How do you expect bacteria of that nature to thrive in these conditions? Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Taking all the environmental factors into account, there must be something I am still missing. Yo, new fave just dropped. Talk to you. Miss? She knows we're here. She just doesn't care. I am a detective, and I need to talk. Correction. You do not need to talk to me. Oh, no? How come? Because I am not a suspect. I am completely innocent of any and all crimes. Thanks for letting me know. Speaking of which, you have now been at Tangle Tower for over 23 minutes. Surely you have already reached a sturdy hypothesis. A hypothesis? About the murder? Yeah? <laughs> Come on, Grimoire, hurry up. My apologies. Unfortunately, protocol dictates I must at least meet all the suspects. And that includes you. So, uh, could you tell me your name? Fifi Fellow, microbiologist, inventor, Fifi Fellow. innovator. Well, you're my favorite. You will need to be more specific. One's self cannot be summarized in a single response without doing one a great disservice. That's true. True. Well, first of all, you're a fellow. So does that make you the daughter Correct. of... Correct. My father and mother are named Flora and Felix, but you need not question either of them. It will only waste valuable time. Neither of them are capable of murder. Thanks for the tip. Fifi, you said you were a micro... something or... Not gonna lie, I had not ruled Felix out. But it is an insignificant label. My studies cannot be categorized in any one recognized field. What made you want to become a scientist in the first place? I harbor an intrinsic fascination with the microscopic. I constructed my first one at age 10. Constructed a microscope? Correct. Oh, that rules. Did you make that too? My eyesight began to deteriorate when I turned 12. Not satisfied with the eye glasses prescribed to me, I designed this custom lens instead. Valid. Automatically adjust based on the surrounding light conditions. Does it glow red when you get angry? No, but that would be most amusing. That I, fantastic. What can you tell me about the murder? What can you tell me about? You were too slow. You fancy? It will grow red at some point in the future. I just need to know what happened. Me too. So talk. Fine. I knew ahead of time that Freya was going to be busy with her painting all day, so I had planned to spend the afternoon with Poppy. I was in the library all morning preparing the equipment for an experiment, only to find out that Poppy had made other plans and she was, in fact, planning to ignore me completely. Oh. So what did you do instead? I locked myself in my room and cried. Oh, oh sorry to hear that. Why? I don't know. It just sounds kind of sad. It is not unusual. Oh. Good. Grim is out of his depth. <laughs> I was in my room, 
The lights were off and the door was locked. Someone began banging on the door. I ignored it until the someone began shouting at me. I opened the door. Poppy came into my room. Her makeup was leaking. She told me Freya was dead. I did not believe it. I thought she was playing a trick on me, so I punched her in the face. No oh, Jesus. She insisted that we go up to Flora's tower. We left the room, and Poppy's father was waiting outside. He followed us upstairs. When I saw Freya lying on the floor, I was completely and utterly devastated. Then, I took a sample of the red paint on the unfinished painting. Poppy and I took the sample back downstairs to the library. We performed a test and found out that it was, in fact, blood. You I love that we have an on-site forensics team. Even though you were feeling so upset? Of course. Why would one affect the other? Name, Freya Fellow. Age, 19. Profession, artist, deceased. Understand this. Most people find me difficult. They exhibit a noticeable degree of discomfort when talking to me. Uh... There it is. Freya. Yeah. A way of being an exception to any given rule was not at all like this. She is very important, and I will not rest until I understand what has happened to her. Hell yeah. Did you spend a lot of time with Freya recently? I will say this. In the past year, Freya became, one, increasingly independent, and two, increasingly isolated. Do you know why? I do not. If you are looking for a speculative, empathetic opinion, Try asking Poppy instead. The three of you are friends. We are of a similar age, and all highly gifted. One scientist, one artist, and one musician. Sounds like quite a team. Name, Fiona Fellow. Age, 19. Profession, amateur microbiologist. Fiona is Fifi, of course. The meaningful archiving of information. Dislikes. The superfluous window dressing accompanying the majority of human contact. Fair. <laughs> Kindly disregard the polysyllabic form of my given forename and refer to me instead as Fifi. How come you prefer Fifi? How come you prefer Grimoire? How are you related to the other fellows? Fitz is my cousin. His father, a man named Flint, was my uncle. Was? I do not know if Flint is alive or not. He left Tangle Tower a long time ago. And what about Freya? How are you related to her? We share exactly one grandparent. Name, Felix Fellow. Age, 53. Profession, none. Likes, that look. objects of negligible monetary value and assigning them personal value. Dislikes, the inescapable realities of human existence. Notes. Felix is my father and legal guardian. And, uh, is he a good dad? I have no point of comparison, but I would say no. No? Why not? You asked me a binary question. Mm -hmm. Do not get upset that I provided one of the two possible answers. Valid. What makes him a bad father, Fifi? He has trouble expressing his emotions and something of a willful detachment from reality. Huh. Just like you, then. Grimoire. No, no. He is quite correct. Is this called Flora? Name, Flora Fellow. Age, 44. Profession, unknown. Likes, unknown. Dislikes, unknown. Uh, isn't she your mother? How do you not know anything? I believe other people may have discovered methods of reaching her, but I have little capacity for interpreting nonverbal communication. And how long has Flora been uh, non-verbal? She has always been quiet, willing to speak when necessary, but not more. So what happened to make her stop talking entirely? She suffered a great loss, something she has been unable to move beyond. Well, this is going to be interesting. And I mean that in a general sense. Let's ask about the photo. This photograph is my favorite photograph. Hmm. So, why'd you rip it in half? That was not me. Besides, it was not a half that was ripped off. It, it was, was a third. 
Let's ask about this thing. I believe Freya was attempting to communicate something through this painting. Any idea what it was? I am not the person to ask. All I see is a blood red mountain with angry storm clouds brewing above it. As such, I cannot ascertain any meaning from it whatsoever. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, oh, this is such a good person to ask questions of, too. What's this about the knife? Skilled at capturing someone's likeness. Ooh, good call. Less about the egg. Accidentally made Flora look quite young. I think she was just being kind. Why is that kind? Anyway. That's a great question. Flora is holding. I performed the test on the red paint myself. I discovered that it was in fact not paint, but blood. What made you want to test it in the first place? It was Poppy. She told me she thought the painting looked like a bloody knife. I told her not to be ridiculous. My mother owns no such knife. But then <laughs> I noticed that the color was slightly too dark, and the substance itself was overly viscous. You noticed that just from looking at it once? Of course. Yeah, that tracks. Egg. And that belongs to my mother. I think she must be fond of eggs. There are a number of egg-shaped carvings to be found in the, <laughs> in the Grand Hall. All right, our mission to click on the first egg in every scene continues. Just like eggs. That's, uh, she's not wrong. Ah, uh, God, there's... Okay, we're going to come back, but we're going to... Uh, I'm so sorry. Fifi's bedroom should be unlocked. Basically making Fifi like a junior detective. At least you're a forensic right. expert here. Um, I kind of want to go that. No, 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 no. We're coming up on time. I don't, I don't want to... Let's finish the library, and then I think... I think we have to call it a stream there. But this... This is going to be interesting. So... I said at the start of the stream that I haven't looked into this game a lot uh, other than to look for, for content warnings and uh, general reviews at a broad level because I kind of wanted to go into this unspoiled. Puzzle games, it's kind of hard to look into a puzzle game without just knowing... Certainly it's hard to look into a whodunit without spoiling it, but also for, for a short game like this, if I had looked into much about the game, I would probably have way too many clues as to what to do to solve most or all of the puzzles, or at least the murder mystery piece of it. So what I don't know is how this game is going to handle things like Fifi or Flora being nonverbal and things like that. But just from that conversation, and particularly the way that Sally and Grimoire seemed to react to Fifi, I'm actually kind of tentatively hopeful for some good uh, neurodivergent rep, which would be a nice change video games at large. So, fingers crossed. We'll, we'll, we'll take it, you know, a scene at a time, obviously. But, um, you yeah, know, fingers crossed. What's this snow globe? It's not an egg, but... Of sorts. It's like egg. Right, they managed fairly positive representation there, it seemed like, which I, I, not gonna lie, I was a little bit, like, on edge for most of that scene, waiting for it to turn. It's the, oh, it's the Tangle Tower, and those are the cliffs, I'm guessing. Interesting. Hey, look at that. It's a model of Tangle Tower. There's the lake and those weird mountains. What are you thinking? That would make an amazing scene. <laughs> So are these the red mountains that Freya drew? Hey, look at that. It's a model. Of what are you okay, thinking? Just the same that thing. would make an amazing zoo. I just, ah, oh, I'm very happy. Oh, that's an achievement. Bug. Books about insects. Well, theoretically, there's not a single book on that shelf. Huh. Oh, huh. Yeah, I just noticed that. That's the empty, huh. Interesting. Fundamental entomology. Hmm. I guess somebody dropped it. Someone cleaned out all the bug books. Books about geography. Skip. No, 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 but like... Books about geography. Skip. Well, but we'll need books that, though. Ancient history, I think. These books are ancient history. <laughs> I think they'd crumble into dust if I tried to pick them up. Good excuse. Thanks. <laughs> Books about space. Hi, Ozzy. They're relatively untouched. Space. 
What's this? Uh, what's in those bottles? I'm not sure. Soil samples? Hmm, could be. Four. A chalkboard. Is this a library or a classroom? <laughs> Hang on. Oh, God. Hey, who wants to guess some puzzle solutions are in this somewhere? Uh, well. Uh, oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Um. Any idea what this means? Not a clue. Great, me too. Math equation. Don't look at them for too long. <laughs> I, thanks, Sally, you called it. Uh, oh no. Oh no. I already made the comparison to uh, Please Don't Touch Anything, and like, we're there. Math Don't look at them. You'll give yourself a headache. Could this be the, the genealogy chart? Right? Because, cause like... What, you know, and, and like, you know, so, so far, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, like, these are just lining up with the numbers match the letters of the alphabet, so that's not anything, but like, the numbers down below don't correspond. So, what are these? What, what, what does this mean? What, what is this? What, what is this all about? Are we solving for X? We can solve for this X. But what is this trident all about? I, uh, I learned anything from that. I learned that I need to not look at this too long. It's an illustrated book about birds. That's been left open. Looks like somebody was halfway through reading it. Or it was left open for us to find. Oh. So slightly unnerving. Bird. Bird book. The ink dip is a remarkably intelligent bird with a very long lifespan, even among even among avian mistids. Other birds are often aggressive towards it, and the ink dip lives most of its life alone. It has particular feeding habits and usually only eats the seeds of the Tentum Amica. Okay, so we're going to have to go find... Now it's strange horticulture. <gasps> the feather! The feather, the feather! The feather, the feather! The, the, it looks like a bloody knife! The feather looks like a bloody knife! She was painting Flora holding a feather. Feather, 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 feather. Well, 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 now that we've solved one mystery, uh, hmm, hmm, auto save is on, cool, that answers my question, so, uh, <laughs> hmm, my head is about to explode, we're 90 minutes into this game, I know, I don't know what I know. But it, I know that I, I know that Fifi's fantastic, and honestly, Grimoire and Sally are pretty great too. Uh, I know that I know that we're gonna stream more of this game on on uh, Thursday, uh, so we'll be back with more of this 8 p.m. Eastern time on Thursday with more Tangle Tower. But in the meantime, you can check out the rest of our stream team schedule at schedule.truck.community, which has links to our full stream team with their respective channels and who's streaming what, where, and when. Um, for right now, it's Monday night, and if I'm not mistaken, I believe uh, September is going to be trying out a game called uh, Super Liminal, which uh, I looked at forever ago. I mean, not forever ago. I think it's more recent than that. But uh, speaking of games that will break your entire brain, that's a fun one. So I'm excited to see that and have my brain broken again. I don't know if I, I'm gonna need to take a breather first. But y'all should go give that one uh, a look because uh, it's gonna get started here in just a moment. So we're gonna toss uh, a raid over to the uh, twitch.tv slash squirrelily channel in just a moment. But thank you for, for coming and hanging out and uh, uh, helping me solve some puzzles and get started on, on solving the the murder of, uh, of Freya Fellow. So yeah, see y'all next time. Good night.